This video explains our approach for automatically generating hybrid mazes from pictures. We call hybrid a type of maze whose walls are used to depict an image and, once solved, its solution path provides a roughly abstracted version of another one, just like the one you're seeing right now. Our approach for maze generation takes into account edge flow and extracted contours to build mazes with passages that flow mainly in the direction of the edges. Given an input image, we apply a flow-based bilateral filter to smooth its regions and sharpen its edges. We proceed to extract the most significant edges of the image through a flow-based difference of Gaussians filter. The extracted edges are subsequently thinned and smoothed to obtain a collection of continuous one pixel wide line segments. A heavily smooth edge tangent flow vector field is then inferred from the previously filtered image. At this point, we start placing streamlines parallel to the vector field by taking the previous collection of extracted segments as a reference. A second set of streamlines is then traced perpendicular to the vector field in order to generate a grid. The dual graph of the grid can then be used to generate a maze by computing a minimum spanning tree. To retain quality of depiction, we assign wakes to make walls perpendicular to the vector field more likely to be broken than other walls. We employ a strategy based on the opening and closing of cyclic paths in order to obtain the final solution path. Given a previously generated grid and a secondary input image, we start by smoothing the image through flow-based bilateral filtering prior to extracting its edges. Again, we apply thinning to obtain a collection of one pixel wide line segments. We then proceed to identify the set of grid cells which are intersected by these lines. Each set of grid cells forms what we call a cell sequence. We then fill the vicinity of each sequence with cyclic paths. Each cycle is grown out from a single edge in the area of the grid that we would like to fill. The cycle is grown so that passages flowing in the directions of the vector field are more likely to be generated. By filling the cells surrounding the cell sequences, we are at the same time partitioning the grid into several regions. We can fill each of these regions by first generating a binary version of the input image. Cells that correspond to the dark areas of the binary image are then labeled and subsequently filled with cyclic paths. Now that the areas we want the solution path to go through are filled with cycles, we proceed to merge the cycles in a shortest distance basis by finding paths that join them and opening them at the specified cells. The merging stops once we have only one cycle remaining. We then try to incorporate user-specified starting and ending points to the solution path. For this purpose, we first find paths from both points to any cell in the current cycle. The cycle is then split in two at the specified cells, creating two paths. We take the longest of the two and finish making the solution path by filling the corresponding regions with cycles and subsequently merging them with the previously obtained path. The maze itself is then generated by taking the solution path as a reference. These are some results obtained from our approach. 